If your ink too slow and your nib won't flow, here's one of the places that you can go. Larry is here to see you through with Mr. Announcer and Cubby too. It's Larry's Fountain Pen Review. Hey, welcome my friends. Hope everybody's doing well today. Larry here and today is another review time. And today we're going to focus on this pen. And my friends, this is the Jin Hao 95. It's a metal fountain pen and the nip sizes that they come in is extra fine, fine, medium and a bent nib. So it comes in a package or you can pay a few bucks more and get it in a uh, pin case. So we just take out this little sleeve there and here it is really it's got a nice look on it. It's got a good finish. Uh, it reminds me of a matte finish. You get a close and look on that. And uh, this one is called the green golden color which has a golden clip here so you got this beautiful green finish here really really nice and then you it comes to coordinate with this really nice gold clip and on the top of the pin right on the cap you'll see the finial also matches the clip which goes down to the band and on the band, let me get my eyeglasses out. <coughs> it is a Jin Hao. And, uh, 95. So, well, I'll leave it there and let you look at it. It comes in different colors. You got the black. The black with a black clip. The previous one is a black with a golden clip. And then of course this one. Then you have a white one with a golden clip. Then you have a white with a silver clip. And then you have a red with a golden clip. And you have a red with a silver clip. Nip sizes. You can get them at extra fine. Fine, medium, and of course the bent nib, which is a curved nib. So, we'll talk a little bit about this pen, and then I'll give you the dimensions of the pen. Pull off cap. It does post for those who like to post it, really a stunning fountain pen, beautiful pen. And you come down the barrel into the grip section. Got a real nice size, roomy for your fingers, grip section. And it's a metal section. Screw off the barrel, it comes with a ta-da! Converter. Push in, pull out converter. Screw that back on. And we go down this uh, grip section to the nib. Not a big nib, no, but it's a mighty nib. It's a decent nib. Of course, it's a Jin Hao with the Jin Hao logo on top. Now, they don't give yeah, it does. It has a medium nib on it. It has an M for medium. Nice little click. So, you know, Juno has been around for a while, and they've really been up in their game, and they have some really beautiful fountain pens. So, the dimensions on the pen. First of all, that's a radium 
medium nib on this pen. And uh, the weight of this pen is going to be 30 G's. The cap length is going to be 138 millimeters uncapped. And then the length of the pen, when you post it, it's going to be 155 millimeters. And if you don't post it, <coughs> excuse me, 125 millimeters. Uh, so it says here, it works great with a bottle of ink, so yes, and it does use cartridges. And 2.6 millimeters of ink cartridges. So you got a little bit of going from your favorite ink bottle to your favorite ink cartridge, whichever turns you on. So we got this done. We're going to do a writing shop in a minute. So let me get out my good old Noodler's Holly. And I just want to show you this for the heck of it. Here's what the ink looks like after it has dried. Does that tickle your fancy anymore? I like it. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't like it when it first went down, but the now that it has dried, I do like the color. Good. So now we're going to... Go to the new Zoo Review. Okay. Get everything ready here. Huh. I always like to clean off my nib after I dip it in some ink. That's just me. And I'll put the little barrel back on. And before I do some writing, what do you think about the pen, Mr. Now, to the color? Oh, I do like it. Oh, I like that matte finish. It does look good, doesn't it's, it? It's a nice, rich color. And, you know, this pen really is a nice, amazing pen. And for the price of this pen, $9.94. So, if you're looking for an affordable, decent fountain pen that looks amazing, you might want to check this little baby out. So, I'm going to get the old trusted book here. And for those of by posting, that's how it is. It doesn't feel weight heavy. Maybe a little bit top heavy with the uh, cap on it. Take the cap off and it's fine. So, but I don't use my caps on. Anyway, here we go. Writing time. Now we're going to try reverse.
And it does. I don't know, mediocre. Nice smooth nib, decent nib. Yep. Down strokes and cross strokes. That's pretty, yeah. All right. Well, there you have it. The one and only. Jin Hao coming right at you. Excuse me, my domino kind of did just whatever I have. So I leave you all with all the peace and love I can. And remember, be kind to someone out there. Be safe, my friends. Don't text and don't drive. We'll chat at you later. It's only rock and roll, but we love you.